Hi, John Dobus here with Alex Koichman. He's the editor of the Penny Stock Millionaire Newsletter. Now, uh, you know, this is a very shady area of the market, or it certainly could be when you're talking about companies that are trading for less than five bucks or less than $100 million market cap. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, I think that uh, it gets a bad name, especially uh, when the word penny is in there. People assume that it lacks value or has no value whatsoever. But the truth of the matter is, and this is sort of what I try to tell my readers, is that uh, for non-accredited investors, this is some of the only opportunities you'll ever get in investing in really early stage companies. Uh, are these companies that came out and just never bloomed, or are they companies <coughs> that, that bloomed and they died? And these they... are generally companies that uh, go public for various reasons that are usually strategic, and they need to get financing, they need to get their name out there, and being public automatically creates that, right. that kind of setting. So. Um, it's, uh, there's very, very little consistency in why it happens, and I would say maybe eight out of 10 of them are not really worth looking at at all, but the two that are worth looking at. Are worth uh, looking at well. Now how do you, when you go about trying to find good stocks, uh, large caps, you know, you do things like look at PE ratios and growth rates and sales and profits and stuff like that. Do you apply the same kind of fundamental analysis to these companies? Or, or yeah, I have a, I, have a I, I do have a, a de-risking plan, and it basically, uh, you have to look for companies that do have cash, uh, companies that do have sustainable business models, and uh, companies that do have a future. Uh, you look at the management team, their history, their experience, and once that happens, you can vet away about 90% of, of the bad stuff. And right. Once you do that, it's still a gamble, sure. and you don't want to put much of your portfolio into this kind of thing. But it's uh, these are big swinging, you know. This right. is this is a big swinging kind of thing. So, so when you rec when you recommend these stocks, you know, uh, do you also tell people when to get out of them? Yes, absolutely. And usually, uh, getting out is a very timely kind of thing. Uh, some of these companies are well established; they do have revenue, uh, and they're actually well known and uh, their products are well known. Uh, Elrad Corporation is one of them. They make an acoustic uh, hailing device, which you may have seen on Whale Wars. It makes a really nasty sound. It's essentially an acoustic laser. And this is a military uh, contracting company, and so $60 million market cap, it's technically a penny stock, but uh, they do great business. Uh, and so that's an example of one that's very legitimate and actually relatively low risk. The upside is also lower, however, right. because they're already established, there's already you know, there's money coming in, and uh, if you really, really want to get into the big lottery tickets, then you have to find ones that haven't done anything yet, but are just but your viable. Are a lot lower. <clears throat> right, and I try and I try to stay away from those from those for the most part. But I tell the readers, even for penny stocks, this is going to be high risk. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Cool.